Hey, what's going on guys, Pog here and welcome to today's video. In this video, we'll be taking a look at this 2021 Ram 1500 Rebel. Now, a special thanks to Mori Chrysler here in Okotoks, Alberta for allowing me to come down and film their 2021 Rebel. If you are in the market looking for a vehicle, I'll have their link in the description so you guys can check out their inventory. So here is the key for this 2021 Ram Rebel. As you guys can see, we have our unlock. We have the lock. This one here will drop down the tailgate. Now this Rebel has the air suspension, so currently it's on its highest setting. So looking at the key fob, we have this one here. So if I press this twice, the Rebel will lower itself to make getting in easier. And here it is. Then we have this button here, which is the remote start. So pressing this twice will remote start the truck. And pressing it once will turn off the truck. The last thing we have here is panic. Now putting this key fob in my pocket, I can then just walk to the truck, put my hand behind the handle, it will unlock the doors, get in. To lock it, we can just push this button and it will just lock the doors. Now with the keyless entry, we also have the push button start so I can push my foot on the brake and push the button to start the engine. So let's turn on the headlights, the fog lights, cargo lights, as well as the hazards. Now taking a look at the front end of this Rebel, as you guys can see, this has the Ram LED headlights, got the turn signals over here. Now the headlights aren't flickering, this is just the camera doing it. And then on the bottom here we have the fog lights, got the parking sensors over there. And then looking at the grill. There's the blacked out RAM emblem, as well as the front facing camera. Down here, we also have the tow hooks. Looking up over to the hood, you can see we have this really nice hood with all these vents. 1500 Hemi 5.7 liter. It's also blacked out, which is nice. Looking at the wheels, you can see we have this blacked out wheel wrapped around with the Goodyear Wrangler Duratrack tires, 275-70R18. Have the ram blacked out over there. Looking at the side view mirror, you can see we have the turn signal. Also have this ram over here. And I really like this lines here, looks really nice. And underneath it, you can see we have the camera this is helping you with the 360 camera we also have the spotlight over there you can also see this one is heated as well as the blind spot right over here here we have the tail light you can see we have the amber turn signals ram over here which is also blacked out looks great 4x4 ram got the handle over here for the tailgate it is also softly down there's no bed liner here but we do have the cargo lights over there we also have the cargo rails. Looking here, we got the backup camera. Really like the RAM emblem. And then we also have Rebel over here. Got the blacked out exhaust, the tow hitch. Also got the parking sensors, which are nicely integrated right there. There's also the spare tire. There's also the lighting for the license plate, as well as our trailer connectors. We have a step over here, which makes it easier to get into the bed. Here we have the fuel door, which is a capless fuel system, which is nice.
Taking a look at the rear door, you can see it opens up really wide, which is nice. Over here, we have a soft touch material, really nice looking trim, and then the handle, got the window control, speaker, got some storage over here, and then more storage with a cup holder. Have the grab handle over here. You can also see this has the panoramic sunroof, which is really nice. Got our reading lights over here, which you just push the lights itself. Some hooks here. Storage behind the driver's seat. The rear seats are heated. We also have this power outlet. Got the vents. Got two cup holders and then this really nice looking trim. And some storage over here as well as two USB-C ports, as well as two USB ports. Now here we have the seats. They're actually really nice looking seats. I really like this leather. And then we can fold the headrest like this. Now we can just raise the seat here. You can see we have some storage underneath the seats. So if I just raise this one as well, that's how much space we have. But if you wanna have more space, we can just do this. And now we have much more space underneath the seats really nice touch underneath the floor mats we also have the rem bins right over here it also has like measurements which is really nice and this is a removable one we also have another one right over here and there's also tie downs as you can see Now the passenger door also has the keyless entry. So if I push this button, it will just lock the doors and I can just grab the handle to unlock the doors. Taking a look at the passenger door, you can see here we have the speaker, got the handle as well as the trim here. It's also soft touch again, grab handle here to close the door and then full automatic window, unlock, lock, got the speaker over there, some storage, more storage. Have the grab handle here to get into the truck much easier really like the front seats you can see here it says rebel really nice touch the passenger seat is also fully automatic and i really like this right here how it's kind of a more durable material for the seat adjustments it's a really nice touch you have the lumbar support right here we have some storage right there looking at the dash you can see it says rebel it's a dual compartment glove box so we have one here on the top as well as a lockable one right here underneath the passenger seat looks like here as well you'll find your jack and finally let's take a look at the driver's area we have the trim got the handle we have two person memory seats as well as the speaker got the mirror controls this is also automatic folding mirror so pushing this button will just fold your mirrors in have a full automatic window for the driver and passenger we also have the two automatic rear windows looks like to suspend people from opening the rear windows and then we have unlock as well as lock got the grab handle here to close the door as well as some storage and then looks like two cup holders some extra storage over there have the speaker here of course Looking at the driver's seat, again, I really, really like the way how the Rebel seats are. Looks really nice. It is also a power seat, of course. Now the steering wheel is manually adjustable with this lever. So it is a telescoping as well. You can tilt and then lock it in place, just like that. Now behind the steering wheel, you also have these controls for the radio. So it's like volume and then go to your next track and stuff. So you have one here on the left as well as on the right. Really like that. Grab handle right here. And then the vents, of course, got the headlight control, the cargo lights. This is the dimmer switch for your instrument cluster. We also have the electronic parking brake, the pedal adjustments, which are electric, as you can see. 
We also have the lever here to open up the hood. Taking a closer look at the steering wheel, you can see here we have the buttons for the voice control, answer and hang up. We also have these buttons here to control the center screen as well. For 2021, you can now get a heads up display to use this to go through the settings and then customize your heads up display. We'll take a quick look at that. And then you also have your uh, adaptive cruise control, the regular cruise control. You have a way to shift the gears manually. So let's get into the truck and start it up. Here we have the sun visor. You can see it has the built-in home link. We also have the illuminated mirror right there. Got this paper clip looking thing, which is really nice. It's also on that other side. And this definitely adjusts so you can block the sun. And it's really soft to adjust, which is nice. There's the passenger side. At the top here, you can see we have this button here. So this will just lower and drop down the tailgate. This button here is currently off. So what this is, if I open the door right now, you can see none of the interior lights turned on. But if I push this button and then I open the door now, as soon as I open the door, the interior lights will turn on. This button will just turn on the interior lights, just like that. You can see there in the back as well. We have SOS Assist. This will just control one side of the lights. So passenger as well as the driver. These are the controls for the panoramic sunroof as well as the rear window. So if I just try to show you opening the rear window, that's what it looks like. This one here will open and close the sunshade. So we can just close the sunshade. We can also tilt the sunroof. So if I just push that once, it will open up the sunshade and then tilt the sunroof. And then this one will allow us to open and close the actual sunroof. Just like that. Now pushing close on this, we'll just close the sunroof and then close the sunshade. just like this. Now, if you look carefully right over there, you can already see this beautiful heads up display. Now, personally, what bugged me all the time with the heads up display, it's having like this hole on the dash. It's a bit strange, but honestly, like when you have the heads up display, it's a really cool looking feature. Here on the dash, we also have the Harman Kardon badging for the speaker system and then we have the ram got a 12 volt outlet right over here and some storage here for like sunglasses this part here actually opens up and then you have like storage here for sunglasses as well now something that's really cool for 2021 you can finally have a camera rear view mirror so like when you have like passenger in the back sometimes um, it uh, limits your rear visibility and then once you do this you can have a clear visibility what's going behind you we also have some adjustments right here so you can adjust the brightness like this and then looks like we can just tilt the camera which is really really cool I mean, it looks strange at first, um, but it's a really, really cool looking feature. Now, I believe the heads up display and this rear view mirror camera system is like a one package. So if you get this, you automatically get that, which is really cool. Anyway, looking down here, you can see we have Rebel and then we have our tachometer here. Got the temperatures here for the coolant as well as the gasoline level right there. We also have the speedometer and we have the customizable seven inch uh, screen over there. Using these buttons, we can do so. So we can scroll down to see like multiple types of information. So we can see like vehicle information, all this good stuff. So you can see your oil life and then battery voltage, lots of information. You can also see your uh, engine hours. That's a really cool touch. And then we have the off-road hit and roll and then driver assist so this is for the adaptive cruise control and lane sense is currently off with this button so we can just turn that on so now lane sense is on
scrolling down we have fuel economy so we have average as well as current it will show you right there so we were actually on the current one and then if you don't want to see the current you can just go to this one so you have like both options whichever one you prefer trip information so we have trip a as well as trip b and then we have audio right over here messages and then settings so pressing ok on this we can now see the display so i'm not sure how i can show this so you can see it, but you can a little bit see the heads up display right there so display is on if i push this it will just turn that off and then we have content and layout so if i click on this we have standard we have like this simple one which shows the speed limit as well as how fast you're going and then we have advanced and then we have custom now for custom if i press the right arrow it will tell me to continue the layout on the radio so here we have the 12 inch touchscreen and you can see we have the custom heads up display layout so we can select whichever one we prefer so you can just have your speedometer for example or you can have this and then let's say you want to have your driver assist you can touch and hold and then have that over there and then if you want to see the speed limit as well touch and hold and then put this here say save and then now that's what we will have there as you can see now we can also adjust the display height so if i press ok on this you can see now i can just adjust it so however high i want to make it we can adjust it you can go all the way up to 10 brightness we can go lower if it's too bright for you you can lower it down now using the arrows here we can now from that settings um, so like we had the option to control the heads-up display but we can also now control the instrument cluster screen so pressing ok here you can see upper left so it'll, we can make that to be the outside temperature time whatever you want you can just literally customize it really love that feature about fca vehicles uh, if we go out of here, we're back to the speedometer. You can see on the top, we have the lane sense. We have the perpendicular and parallel parking. So if I push this on, it's asking me to shift to drive to do that. So let's just put it in drive. And then push the button again. You can see it's active park sense searching for a parallel parking. If I press OK, now it's searching for a perpendicular parking. Let's put it in park. We also have the four wheel drive auto, two wheel drive, four wheel drive high, as well as four wheel drive low. Now you can control the climate with the 12 inch touchscreen, just like this. But I really like how you have the option to have physical buttons as well. So even though the touchscreen is really responsive and then you can easily get things done, um, it's really nice to still have the options to have the physical buttons as well. So we got defense control, automatic of course, and then it's a dual zone climate control. So if the passenger wants to adjust their temperature, they can do so. And then uh, there's also a sync button right here. So if you touch the sync, now whatever you do for the driver, it will automatically do for the passenger as well. Front and rear defroster, we got the AC recirculation. And then we also have the volume, the power button here to turn off the screen. Now the 12 inch touchscreen is also really easily customizable so you can have it kind of a split screen so you can have your music right there and then have your navigation on the bottom um, or if I actually go over to that side right here so we can see the map you can also move it like this so if you want the maps on the top your media down there and if you control your temperature you can see it automatically overlays on all of that so you don't really need to have your climate control there you can always have your media and then still adjust everything and then it will just display right here you also have the time and outside temperature as well as your current set temperature now we can also have a large map so if you want to have a map the whole entire screen you just touch navigation and then we have the maps right here now putting the truck into reverse you can see that the 360 camera automatically activated and then we can see the top view right here we have the rear view which is the backup camera uh, we can have a full rear view backup camera and then we have also the front and then we also have this one here so it shows the backup camera and then we can zoom in and kind of see the tow hitch too which is nice down here we have the air suspension so this is how we can adjust the height of the truck so we can put it all the way up to the max or leave it at the entry and exit which shows right here i'll actually push this once so you guys can see how that process is so you can see where it'll be raising 
There you go. So we are on aerodynamic mode, traction control, we have tow hole, and then we have two parking assist buttons. So if you want to turn off the parking sensors only in the rear, you can do so. And then if you want to turn it off only in the front, you can do that, or you can turn off both sensors. It's nice that you have the option which sensor you really want to disable. Now the center console is really nice. We have the RAM emblem right here. It's nice and soft touch. Now opening it up, we have actually two ways to open it. So this one here will just open up this part, which is a still a really nice amount of storage, but it's not as large as let's say underneath this one when I show you, but you can see we have a USB port right there. Then I can just use this side. And then now we have these measurements here, uh, but at the same time, look at the amount of space we have right here. There's also this, which will allow you to separate these two compartments. There's a max fill line, so when you are moving this around, you won't end up, um, you know, filling it too much that you can't move this around. And then you have your holes here, which is looks like just for coins, which is nice. Some storage, two cup holders. And underneath here, we have two USB-C ports, two USB ports, one auxiliary. And then we also have a storage here. Down here, we have the RAM charger. So it's a wireless charger. So if I put this iPhone 12 right there, you can see it will start charging just like that. There's also a option to run your wires around so that it will be much neater. It's not gonna have like a bunch of wires everywhere. It kind of comes out here and then you put your phone uh, to charge and all that. Now, Apple CarPlay, by the way, works with either one of these ports. So it doesn't matter that you have to plug in only here. You can plug whichever one you want and then Apple CarPlay can still activate. And here I have Apple CarPlay working. Um, this is not fully set up iPhone 12. I just turned it on pretty much. Um, but if we look over here, we can go and then customize some settings. So we can go to here, change the wallpaper, for example. So if we want to have uh, this one, we can set this one. And then whatever apps that also CarPlay supports will also appear around here. And then pressing the U Connect, we'll go back to the normal screen. Here we have a power outlet. And then this storage actually continues down there as well. Now going over to the apps right here, you can see that if I go over to the next page, we have off-road pages. So this is what the off-road pages looks like. I like how that truck just went through that. So you can see the air suspension height. So if I just raise it that will just show us over there so you can see it's also saying raising right there in the off-road pages so we are on normal now actually and then vehicle dynamics so this is the steering angle accessory gauge and then we have the pitch and roll of course forward facing camera as well so if you want to just see your forward camera you can do that right from the off-road pages something really cool also is that you can let's say you want to have your uh, 360 camera available at any times so you can touch and hold from here and then replace this backup camera with that so like let's say you're driving and then you just want to see your surround camera you just touch there and boom you have it so thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'm impressed like i cannot believe how cool this truck is like i love the new heads up display i love the new uh rear view mirror that just is like a camera it's a really cool thing um but overall this is a really luxurious looking truck it looks so good from the outside and then you get inside it's really luxurious it has so many features uh, i wish it had cooling seats that's one thing i just realized i mean I'm not sure if that's an option or not. Let me know guys in the comments below. But yeah, it has heated seats, but there's no cooling seats. I mean, I feel like you have to go to a higher trim. I don't I don't know if this is available with it because this seems really fully loaded. Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.